Hi everyone. So um, this is a video about how to fix the kicked by punk buster problem. It's a uh, it's a really common problem because when you install Battlefield, it comes with an outdated version of punk buster. So what you're gonna want to do is go to evenbalance.com. You're gonna want to go to downloads. Then at the top here, you want to go to punk buster setup. Download it from here. Then click on this one at the top here for all Windows games. I already downloaded it. So in your downloads folder, you're going to get this .zip file. You double click that. Then you open this here. Then it's going to say this. Just click on OK. OK. Then you're going to want to add your game. It should show on the list here. You choose Battlefield 4, of course. And it, then this shows you where it found it at. You'll want to double check to make sure that that's the correct location. It should be. Um, by default, if you have the EA version of the game, like the Origin or EA app version, it should be installed in whichever drive you chose program files and then EA games if you somehow have origin still or it's an old install then it should be in your drive program files x86 origin games if I remember correctly if you have the Steam version it should be whichever drive you chose either Steam or Steam library Steam apps common and then Battlefield 4 so once you figure out where your game is, make sure that uh, matches there. Then just click Add Game and it's going to update for you. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because it takes a little bit. So once that's done, that's the first step. That's the common step that everybody talks about, but there's another part I'm going to show you that I've never really seen anybody else mention. So. The reason that it kicks you is probably because Punk Buster is outdated. That's the first reason. And the second reason is because there's two services that need to be running when you're playing the game. There's Punk Buster A and Punk Buster B. Punk Buster B doesn't like starting up for some reason. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to want to right click your start button and go to run. Then you want to going to want to type in services.msc this will bring up a list of your services and you go down to punk buster punk buster a is here and punk buster b is here because i already did it but it probably won't be if you first and fret install the game or update punk buster it's probably not going to show here but if you find your battlefield 4 folder and you go down here and double click this click test services let this finish doing everything it's going to do okay then Punk Buster B will show in this list. You might hit this refresh button if you open the uh, if you opened up this services list before you press the test button over there. But then you'll see Punk Buster B. You right click it, go to properties. This should be set to automatic. Go to recovery here, and then for all three of these options, set them to restart the service. So if it fails it tries to restart the service instead of just doing nothing. Then hit apply and click OK. Then you can X out of this and X out of all this stuff we did previously and that should fix your game. It's The reason it kicks you most of the time after you update is just because of the Punk Buster B not running and this has always fixed it for me. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps everybody. Uh, have a good one.